we're going to have a look at a full worked example of a, um, a voting app that Docker has used at DockerCon and in many other examples like the birthday contest. And what, what we do is we submit a vote for cats or dogs and then we use a application that's built in Node.js to visualize that in the modifications that I've made. I've taken the direct access to a database away from the voting app and the results app and I've replaced that with a, a tiny microservice written in ASP.NET. Now the difference here is that microservice is written in full.NET 4.5 and it's running in Windows um, and under a Windows container everything here is running in a Windows container, even the Node.js code. So if you open up my, my project solution, you see that I've added a voting controller, which gives us this namespace. And so instead of the application calling into a database here um, to submit the votes, it calls into this web service. We don't do anything particularly special we're not really checking for edge cases here we're just selecting the count of the votes for a and b and also uh, allowing the user to submit in a new vote either way code's been built and i've shared it on github so if you go over to my github repositories asp.net vote service you'll see a docker compose file here which gives you all the configuration for MS SQL. And then if we look into the source, you can see the .NET code here and a Docker file. Now there's a bit more about this Docker file and how it works on my blog. If you go over to blog.alexellis.io and look at this blog article, it goes into depth and it explains just how to set up a project. Um, if you're looking at this, you're probably already working with ASP.NET at work, maybe in the business sector. Um, I'm really excited about this because I think it gives um, a real business case for Docker. So um, what I've done is I've built the solution, built the code. And if we have a look over on the other screen, I've started up a SQL server container um, we type type in docker images and up here we've got vote for SQL voting and result app the voting app is Windows and it contains IIS all of these images are around 8 gigabytes in size because a base image for um, Windows core server is quite large uh, but you don't have to have many um, many copies of it it's effectively one copy and each container has a, a virtual size. So let's see if we can find the container in the history. So this is the results app. What we need to do first is start up the, um, the service. Port is 80, and we should be able to just run this in. One of the current constraints that I found using Docker Compose is that linking over host names isn't working with DNS entries. So unfortunately, I am having to hard code in the IP address of SQL Server into the image for the voting app. So in theory, putting a host of the container name should be enough if they're on the same network. But for right now, I'm going to rebuild this code with the IP address hardcoded. So if we go into the directory build. 
you should see a whole bunch of cached steps here. The kind of stuff we've done is to switch to use PowerShell for the default um, executor for Docker run commands. We installed Windows features such as .NET 4.5 for ASP.NET and um, web extensions as well. Remove the default site so that it doesn't clash. And then you'll see in step six, I believe we'll be adding in a new site for this voting service. So our container's now built, we've got a new image, and what I'm going to do is run that new image exposing port 80. And because I'm running that in the foreground, we should get some log information too. And once that's up and running, it will tell us IS has started. So let's go over and see if we can find the IP address of that container. We could either use the name or we can use the ID. Didn't assign a specific name to this, so we've got a randomly generated one. And this is the IP address. And so this is a debug endpoint that I've added. Um, we should be able to go over to SQL Management Service now and see that the votes database has been provisioned and the votes table has been added as well. That is done through the .NET code in the, um, the startup of the application, running a couple of provisioning scripts that will create the database and the table if they're not already there. Now I'm going to go over to um, to curl and we'll just try the same command again. And so it's brought back the JSON data and we can actually look at the votes now. Vote A, zero, vote B, zero. If you want to submit a vote, then we do a post And I'm currently passing the vote ID, vote ID one for A this way, and then I'm going to pass one in vote ID two for B. So we should have a 50 50 split. And here we go, called the voting endpoint again, and this will also work through a web browser. And we've got one vote either way. So the next thing for us to do is to start up the results app. So if we go back to the picture, Gliffy diagrams, we now have SQL Server running. We connected to that with SSMS. We've now got the voting service running and we've been accessing it through curl. So let's start the Node.js service. We're going to start the Node.js results service. Uh, I think I have this already in my history. And it's supposed to run on port 4000. 4, and then I pass in a URL. Again, this is due to the fact that linking doesn't appear to be working in Docker Compose. But once that's up and running, we'll be able to go to the IP address, which we'll also need to find again. So let's type in Docker PS. And we'll find the voting app. So the result app is here. Let's do an inspect for the IP address. And as you'd expect, we've got a 50-50 split. 
Now, personally, I like cats more than dogs, so I'm going to put another vote in. That's gone the wrong way. So let's change that vote, right? And then maybe we'll put another one in. Uh, maybe another one. At the same time, because this is a live uh, read of a SQL database, we can go over to the voting table. And we could go ahead and just edit those. Okay, someone's been in. Dog lover here, and they've switched the balance. So what what's left to do with this? Well, I'd really like to see this working through Docker Compose. And there is a um, an actual voting UI app as well, which is in Python. And I'd like to replicate that and get it working too, so that we're not using curl. We can use Python to um, submit votes.